Okay, today we're going to be installing the new Rat Ratio 3, I think that's how you pronounce it, Smart Sprinkler Controller. My current controller is no longer working, so I've got to replace it. So I'm going to show you how easy this is and how we do it. I can fold this down again. So before we do that, let's take a look at the old one just to show you what we're going to be doing. Okay, so this is my old controller, and what happened is just the knob just stopped working. I turn it and it doesn't do anything. I couldn't turn it on, I couldn't turn it off. So it, it, it kind of became useless, but uh, it's not the easiest to program. It was kind of very difficult, so I'm kind of glad to replace it. But I wanted to show you the wires in here just to show you how this works. So these are the slots that go to your valves right here. These different colored wires right here each go to a valve. This white one is the common wire. And these are my sensors that are on top of my house, a solar sensor that hooks into it. So it's a pretty simple hookup. You basically plug the new one in. Uh, we're going to mount the new one. And then we're going to... Um, Take these wires out of here and put them in the new one. But before we do that, let me show you where these wires go just so you understand exactly how this works. Okay, these are the valves that hook in to the system I just showed you. Now, as you can see, I have four valves. These valves here uh, with this little device on them here, these are the low pressure water uh, drip lines. So I've got two of those and I've got two watering lines that have the higher pressure. Now, as you can see, this is the solenoid for each valve. Each valve has a color of wire coming up. So this one right here is yellow. Uh, and you saw the yellow one that hooked into the panel. So this yellow one, one of the wires hooks into here on the solenoid. The other part of this solenoid wire hooks down into here, which is the common wire. So when it's, it's turned to water, it activate the common wire is always active but then it activates the yellow line for example would activate this solenoid which turns this valve on and off through that panel now you can see one of these valves is not hooked up at all this used to go to a front watering system that I had that is no longer there I changed the front yard so I disconnected it but this is the base, basic setup that goes inside your box. So as you can see, I've got three wires. I've got the yellow, I've got the orange that hooks into here, and I've got a blue wire that hooks back into there, and you'll see all those in my panel. So I've got three wires to hook in, plus the common. And this is where those wires end up, and this is the little device that they activate when it's turned on and off. Okay, so that's where those wires go, it's just so you know how this works. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to unscrew these little terminal screws and unplug these wires. Here's my three valves, my orange, my yellow, my blue. The green is in here, I disconnected it, see right there, I no longer need it. There's my common. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect these wires, I'm going to pull this off the wall and I'm going to start to mount the new one on the wall. So let's get started. One more thing, uh, before you take this, before you take your old one off, get really up close and take a picture of the wire settings. Now, mine are pretty simple. They're easy to see. I've only got three to hook in, but uh, yours may be a little bit different, and you, it's always good to have a photo of where these wires went on the old one, just in case you get mixed up on the new one. So take a picture first, and then take it off the wall. Okay, so here's the new unit we'll be installing. The front cover is held in by little, some magnets. It just plops right off. There's the new internal piece we're going to use. We're going to hook the new wires into. And it's going to mount right on top of over those wires there. So when you're putting it on, you want to make sure that you get it, you get the wires as close to you as, as possible to the bottom there where I have them. That way when you have the cover piece on, uh, and it's closed up, you won't even see the wires. It'll look really nice and neat. And also use a level on the top of it to level it out before you mark your holes. Um, that way it'll come out nice and uh, professional looking 
uh, when it's all done. So we're going to mark our holes, drill, and then we're going to get this piece mounted to the uh, drywall. Okay, so now we're going to hook up the wires. <clears throat> so the white wire is going to be the common. That goes in where it says C. Now these are these go to my valves as we looked at earlier. I want now this is going to determine what watering number you have. So if I put the blue to one, that's going to affect my front yard drip, as you saw yesterday, with where the colors are hooked up into the valves themselves. They hook right into here. So this one here is going to be my first uh, watering. That's going to be my front. So whenever I program number one, once I get this up and running and I program the number one, it's going to water my front because that's the valve that waters my front. Number two is going to water my back drip. Hook that up. And number three is going to water my backyard. This used to be my solar sink from my old one, which I don't need on this one, so I'm not going to hook it up. So that's the extent of the hookup. It's a very easy hookup. Very easy to mount, very easy to hook up. Now I'm just going to push these wires in, put the cover on, and we're going to get on the app to activate it. And of course then we're going to test it. What you'll also notice if I pull back here a little bit is uh, this area was marred up from the old one being there. Had some big holes in it from the old um, controller. So before I put this new one on, I put some spackle in, I patched the holes, and then I hit some touch-up paint real quick with a paintbrush to make it look nice. Making a job look nice is is really important. Um, so look how much nicer this looks rather than having uh, white holes around this thing. Just a little touch-up, a little work, a couple minutes, and it makes it look uh, professionally done. Okay, now we're going to plug this thing in. I've downloaded the app. I've got it on my phone ready to go. So now we can fit this up in here. That's where it plugs in. And we're going to plug it in right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go on the app. And we're simply going to walk through the device setup. We're going to add a device, walk through the setup, and then we're going to test it. Okay, so once you get it set up on your network, you'll have that blue bar across it. That means it's hooked to your network. It's registered. Uh, the, the app, help, the app uh, tells you to scan this code, and then it sets up this device with your local home account. So now I just got to tell it the zones. Uh, how I want to water, the types of uh, grass I have, stuff like that. So we'll do that and then we'll finish up. Okay, so we've got it plugged in. We, we walked through the uh, app setup, which was really easy. And this is such a nice system. And on this end, the last thing we need to do is put the faceplate on. And we're done with this. Now we have one more thing to do at the sprinkler heads and I'll show you what that is. Okay, now that we've made sure everything is working, I put new solenoids on these because the old ones were cracked. These just unscrew and screw in. But as you can see, we have new connections here. So these little things here are just grease and they're meant to protect the wires from water. So what you do is you open these up and you're just gonna insert them in there into the grease. Nice, so it's nice and covered. And then you pull the wires to one side 
insert that all the way down in there so it's nice and covered and then you clip them top and there you're done it's sealed from any water getting in there and then your electrical connections keeps everything really good and won't have any problems so I'm gonna do the other I'm gonna do the common and the other two valves that are that I'm using and that I'm all done everything's been tested working and we're looking good I hope you like this video hope you enjoyed it please uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't uh, subscribed to our channel please hit the like button if you like this video and please come back and see us again thank you